Hello guys and girls, my name is Biffa and welcome to our first look at the new City Skyline Mass Transit DLC. We're going to take a whistle stop tour of all the things that you can get in this DLC, whether you've got the free version or the paid version. And we're going to check out all the different uh, vehicles, the different rows and the different things we can do. So let's jump into looking at... First of all, we have the monorails. We also have the new ferries as well. We have cable cars. Wow, <laughs> look at that. And my personal favourite, the blimp. Just listen to the noise of this thing. I'm absolutely loving the details of all these new vehicles. But wait, there's more. There is also a whole load of new roads added too. From asymmetrical three-lane roads... We have monorail tracks on two-lane roads. We have large avenues with grass, large avenue with grass and bus lanes. Monorail tracks on four-lane roads. We have two-way highways, so highway speeds on a two-way road. We have the same with sound barriers. And then we have a two-lane highway, so two lanes that way. And we can have the same with sound barriers. And then also a four-lane highway and the same with sound barriers. There's also three new landmark buildings, including this one, Locomotive Halls. And this lovely looking one here where the kids can come and practice driving their cars. This one's called Traffic Park. I think this has to be my favourite one. Great memories of taking the Biffa Boys on these sort of cars. And there's also the boat museum that tourists and citizens will come and visit. Very nice. And to go along with all the new transit options, we need some more hubs. This is a fine looking hub. This is the Metro Monorail to Train. There we go. Hook up. So as you can see, if you look underground here, we have the underground metro. We have the train going off here and we have the monorail tracks that are sticking out in there. That will connect to all three. That is fantastic. We have some two new amazing train stations. We have the ones that go at the end point. This one is the multi-platform end station. One, two, three, four, five, six different lines coming in and out of there. We also have the multi-platform train station which goes in the middle, so that can have 12 different lines coming out of it. So that is really going to beef up the things that we can do with our train lines. Going back to the ferries, we have the ferry depot. There's the smaller ferry stop that can take one ferry at a time. And then there's also the larger ferry and bus exchange stop, where as you can see here, you can have multiple bus routes. Let's have a look coming into and out of your ferry exchange. And there is also your ferry pier, which can take more than one ferry at a time. So looking in a bit more detail at the monorails, we have the monorail stations that you could put next to a road, as you can see here, and that would be not always necessarily an end point, but the monorail can carry on through as well. So as you can see, I've just run this one through the middle of my industrial state because why not? Just a bit of fun for this video. Following the line along here, we have the monorail station with road. So you can easily have your monorail station. As you can see, the tracks here are running over the top of the road, which I really, really like. Got a nice little board in there telling you what times the monorails are coming and going. And then down here, we have the monorail bus hub. So as you can see, we can have different bus routes. Let's come out and look at this menu. There we go. Oops. We can have different bus routes that come in and out on both sides and can easily switch over to the monorail. And then as we mentioned before, we have the metro, monorail and train hub, which connects all three together. Fantastic. And then looking at our cable cars, we have the end of the line cable car stop. It has to be alongside a road, but that's where the line has finished. The cable cars go up, go down. Then you have a cable car stop that you can put in the middle of a line like this one here and the cable cars, cable cars will go straight through and then I've got another end of the line stop down here. So that's going to enable people to get up and down your mountainous terrain to go and visit the tourist attractions at the top with ease and admire the wonderful view of your city. <laughs> Now, with the blimps, you have your blimp depot over here. This is where all your blimps originate from. Then you have your blimp stops, like this one here. And you connect those together to other blimp stops with your blimp pathway. Then you can set up your routes from one to the other in the same way that you would set up your routes uh, for buses and for trains. It's very easy just to click on one station after another. Another new addition to the game is the line details. This works for trains, for buses, for all sorts of transport in the game. If you click on that, you can see all the details for the line that this mode of transport is on. On the right hand side here, you can see a list of all the different stops that they're making and how many people, how many passengers, 
passengers are waiting at each stop and where each of your vehicles are and how many passengers they are holding. So it helps you to see whether you need more or less vehicles on that line. You can change the number of vehicles that you can have here and that also as it says there depends on the public transport budget and this modifier. But that's a great way of tweaking the lines that you have. You can change the colour here and also say whether they're running during the day, the night or day and night. One of the biggest additions to the game that I am enjoying the most comes with the change to the way that roads can be adjusted and changed to suit your needs. You can rename your street whatever you like. You can make a road a priority road. Take, keep an eye on this junction here. If I make this one a priority road, you can see stop signs are added. There we go, either side, if you take that off. So that can change how your traffic would interact with your road. If you want even more detail, click on this road here. So this is the road that we're dealing with at the moment, just Biffa Street. We can change the junction, so we can turn on and off traffic lights. That's the biggest thing people tell me in my Let's Play series. Turn off all the traffic lights. Well, in some places you may want traffic lights, so you can change that. And you can also individually make them give way or have priority over other roads in the junctions. You also have the route button which will show you all the routes that are being taken using that road and you can obviously change that to show pedestrians, cyclists, all the other ones listed down the side here. That's fantastic when you start getting to really busy roads. Like this one here, there's so many people coming through here but when you start narrowing this down to only show say things like trucks, you can see where they're coming from, where they're going to, and it can really help you with routing your traffic around your city. We also have this new addition down here, traffic routes, there we go, which takes you to that menu as well. And on the traffic button now, it shows you the average traffic flow in a percentage, which some scenarios are using, so keep a note of that. There's also been a big change in the building of roads. Let's just put ourselves a nice straight piece of road along here and one up the side here say you were trying to build a grid based system before you'd be trying to line up exactly how many spaces you need to leave oh that's wasted space you have to delete it and do it again now if you want to line up with that one there you can just use the circle there we go that's around your cursor and you know exactly where to build now the game knows what i want to do there we go did you notice it's putting up the little squares for me so it knows exactly where i want to go to make sure all my roads are lined up there we go, excellent. Also, using the circle that's around the cursor, that shows you how wide the building area is around, let's go this way, around the road that you're building. So if you wish to overlap some of your roads a little bit and not use up all of the space or leave extra space in between where you could put trees, you can now have a visual indication of how that works to make drawing your cities even easier. Another addition is the angles. You can see there it's showing me the angle just here on the road as I'm pulling it out. So that would obviously be 90 degrees. You can get 45 degrees. You can work it out exactly as you want it. There we go. And then you could do another one here. And you could start really building up roads. If you're into building really straight roads and angular roads and shapes and patterns, you can use this perfect tool. There we go to get the exact angle that you need. You also have options down here. If you want to snap to certain things, I've got all of mine turned on. I quite often just turn the whole thing off, but now you can change. So if you don't want to snap to an angle, that's fine. If you want to snap to an angle, there we go. It's clicking to the different angles. I think if you turn that off, it stops showing the angle altogether as well. Yeah, so that's really handy. If we turn that off and that off, there we go. So it makes it a lot easier to do the roads the way that you wish to do them. A couple of additions to the train section that I neglected to mention. You can now allow intercity trains or disable it if you only want local inner city trains. There are two way rails, which we've always had, but there now is also one way rails as well which are fantastic so they're shown there by the arrows that is also the same for any roads that you draw they will also have these arrows on them if they are one way which i think is an excellent mod addition instead of the bright green arrows that we had in the mod from the steam workshop it's now been integrated into the game with these lighter looking arrows so that's going to make it really easy to see which way your roads are going 
There are also three new variations of Chirper. We have this guy with a cone on his head. This guy with a helmet and a mic. I'm not entirely sure what he's doing. And finally, this guy here with the train driver's hat. I quite like that one. In your cities, you now have three new policy options. Prefer ferries, so they prefer to use those moving around in the city, which of course costs money. High ticket prices, 25% up get lots of profit, and also educational blimps. Ah, advertisements on blimps to be used as educational boosts in your city. Ah, a fantastic addition. And on top of all that, you get three new scenarios, particularly made for this mass transit DLC, and they are... So we have Ferry Empire, where we're trying to transport as many people as possible around this watery city using ferries. There's a really high target to reach that one, so that'll be a good fun one to introduce you to one of the new uh, transport options in mass transit. We also have the scenario called Trains, which is a great big blank map with a whole list of things that we need to do. Basically transporting lots of people by train, a nice hard one to get your teeth stuck into and try out all those new train goodies as well. And finally, there is Fix the Traffic. The traffic in this city is a complete disaster. You need to try and use all the tools at your disposal to try and solve this traffic problem and reach the goals for the scenario. This is the one that I've actually chosen to play through myself. So if you wish to see me play through this one, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out when new episodes go up. One has gone up already, along with this Watch New video. So you can go and watch that now. We're going to play through here we're going to try and use as much of the new things in the new mass transit dlc as possible to try and solve this problem it's difficult let me tell you i've already recorded the first episode i'm working on the second one it's very hard but i'm really enjoying it guys if you enjoyed this look at what's new in the mass transit dlc please leave a like it's greatly appreciated please click my face up in the corner to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the city skyline mass transit goodness that's coming your way and i will see you guys very soon thanks for watching take care Bye bye